Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. This is day 13 of the Counting of the Omer, April 28th, 2017. We are 27 days, 27 days from Ascension Day uh, on May 25th, and 37 days from Pentecost on June 4th. And today I would like to just read one passage of scripture and uh, I'd like to pray for you. Daniel 7, 21 through 22. I was watching and the same horn was making war against the saints and prevailing against them until the Ancient of Days came and a judgment was made in favor of the saints of the Most High, and the time came for the saints to possess the kingdom. So we are at a time where many, many people are, feel, are feeling uh, tired and worn down, and this war against the saints, people feeling that the enemy has prevailed, that uh, there's tiredness and and desperation and many many things that we struggle today the body of Christ is is struggling in so many ways and and we need our deliverer to come <laughs> and so this passage of scripture talks about this war and it talks about this time of of of, of being uh, you know being overcome you know making this war against the Saints but there's this uh, this encouragement that is given that the Ancient of Days is going to come. A judgment will be made in favor of the saints of the Most High. And the time will come for the saints to possess the kingdom. And there's nothing that I want more than to make it to the finish line to be uh, done with this time of trial and to make it to our heavenly kingdom right because we are we are uh, pilgrims this is not our home we are pilgrims we are passing through and uh, the time will come for the saints to possess the kingdom so uh, let's just have a word of prayer today and I pray you are blessed with uh, with this thought and uh, encouraged by this prayer so, dear Heavenly Father, we come before you right now in the name of Jesus Christ, and I pray that you would strengthen us, Lord. You Strengthen us. We need your strength. Your people need your strength. And, and God, we ask that your Holy Spirit would be with us. Help us to overcome. Rebuke every work of the enemy. Rebuke every attack. Rebuke every um, work that would, uh, it, that would <clears throat> seek to destroy, that would seek to discourage that would seek to get us off the path of righteousness, off this path of, 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 of hoping in you, off this path of faith. We have to walk by faith. We cannot walk by sight because everything around us says that we are crazy. Everything around us says that, says that the, 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 this can't be true, that the world is coming to an end. But Lord, your word is true. Your word says that this generation will not pass away when when you see the the flowering of the the fig tree this generation will not pass away until all these things have been accomplished so lord i pray strength for your people today i pray in the name of jesus that you give us the the uh, the strength and the help that we need to make it to the finish line we want to make it lord help us no one is worthy lord there is none righteous, no, not one. But Lord, you show mercy upon your people. And so Lord, we pray that you would count us worthy. We want to be worthy to enter into your kingdom. I pray blessing upon your people in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody that is going through special trials or special concerns with family members or with finances or with sickness or with just spiritual struggle, or addiction, or whatever it would be, Lord, I pray that you would bless your people. 
bless your people with the strength they need today. Empower, Lord. Let the power of the Holy Spirit be upon your people to rise above and to be overcomers in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord. I pray your people would be blessed today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs>